We are so excited to be able to share with you how you can know Jesus as your personal Savior. No, it's not by going to church or doing good things or being baptized or any other religious ritual. In fact, God tells us in the Bible, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So there is no amount of good that you can do in order to be right with God. So maybe you're wondering, how do I come to know Jesus as my Savior? Admit that you are a sinner and that you deserve to be punished for your sin. Sin is anything that you say, think, or do that displeases God. Have you ever lied? Have you ever stolen anything? Have you ever said something you shouldn't have said? Then you are a sinner just like every other person in the world. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. To come short means to miss the mark. God's mark is perfection, and none of us could ever be perfect. The only perfect person to ever live in the world was Jesus Christ. And because of your sin, you deserve to be punished. If someone murders someone, he deserves to go to jail. If someone steals something, they deserve to be punished. And because of your sin, there's a penalty that must be paid. It says in the Bible, for the wages of sin is death. The payment for your sin is death. But not just physical death, it's also talking about a spiritual death in a place called hell. The Bible refers to hell as the second death. If we were to stop right there, that would be a pretty hopeless situation. But the good news is, the Bible does not leave us without hope. That passage from the Bible continues, But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. What is this gift? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Believe that Jesus died on the cross, was buried and rose again three days later. One of the writers of the Bible put it this way, Moreover, I declare unto you the gospel. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. The word gospel means good news. So the good news is, Jesus paid the price for your sins by dying on the cross and raising from the dead, and he offers you the free gift of salvation through him. So what do you do to accept this free gift of salvation and be saved from your sin? Confess that you are a sinner, that you believe Jesus paid for your sin, and that you need God to forgive you of your sins. The word confess means to admit or agree. Admit that you're a sinner and deserve to be punished. Admit that you need someone to pay for your sins. And admit you need God's forgiveness from your sins. The Bible puts it this way, That thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. If you would like to be saved from your sins and enter into a relationship with Jesus, then let him know right now. You can do this by confessing your need for him. The Bible says to confess with your mouth your need of Jesus as your Savior. You could say something like this, Dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and that I deserve to be punished for my sins. But I know that Jesus died on the cross, was buried, and rose again the third day to pay for my sins. Through faith, I am asking you to forgive me of my sins and save me, and allow me to enter into a relationship with you. Thank you for this free gift. Amen. Understand that it isn't a prayer or some special word that saves you from your sins, but it's believing and accepting what Jesus did for you and repenting of your sins that allows you to be forgiven of your sins. If you've accepted this free gift from God, would you let us know through the contact form below and allow us to rejoice with you? 
If you still have questions and want to know more, feel free to let us know.